Oh, it's shark. Oh. Oh. All right, it's Saturday morning. We're heading out on the boat. Going to go try to catch some fish. And the best part about fishing is you just never really know if you're gonna catch anything. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt with no idea what the prize could be. So we could go out there, catch no fish today, or we could catch the world record. There's probably a very low chance of us catching the world record fish today, but at least we're going out there and having some fun. So you can see early morning here, Fort Lauderdale. We're going fishing, it's the weekend, let's do it. Head offshore, we're gonna try to catch some bait fish, and then we're gonna go a little bit further out and we're gonna try to catch some snapper today. A little bit of snapper, a little bit of whatever bites the hook. We're gonna try to catch snapper, but if something else bites the hook, we're gonna reel it in. And that's the way the cookie crumbles fishing today. I'm a chum bag. I gotta get some chum. Chum in the water. Good old party bag of chum. You know it's good when it's solid chum. This right here will get the fish going. We're looking to catch these. These are ballyhoo. So we've had the chum in the water for probably 10 minutes. The ballyhoo are in the back there. So now we're gonna try to cast net some and get them in here live. Because the big fish like the live bait. It's like getting dollar bills out of the ocean. Just dollar, dollar bills here. You can start just a bait shop. You got a bait for an army now. We're shark fishermen today, boys. Oh, this one's bigger than the last one. Ugh. going. Get them. Yeah. Woo! I ain't here to catch sharks. I'm here to catch some fish. Two sharks, a third shark, they just broke my reel. The reel is not built for sharks. It's not a shark fishing reel. When you catch a fish, the fish like takes off and starts running. But when you catch a shark, it just kind of like sticks there and doesn't want to be moved. And basically when you're trying to reel it up, it's very heavy. And you can just tell when you have a shark. Then it's a little guy, I can just tell it's a little guy. Maybe a little yellow tail. Looks like a little yellow tail. Yeah, yellow tail. We're on the little ones today. Little ones and we're big sharks. Fish on. Oh. This one's a fighter. This one's gonna be a solid. Oh man, this one's really giving you all 10 inches today, boys. Another yellow tail. Let's see, we've got a little bigger size here. A little bit bigger now. Kind of the same shit. And there we go. That's like four of these little babies now. Wow, that's a little baby. You caught him a fish. I gotta put it, take it off the hook. All right, so it's almost lunchtime. We've been out here since 5 a.m. Got a couple of little ones. We got a couple of fish and nothing to take home. The sharks earlier really ruined the day. It's messing up my whole bottom. I'm fishing rig there, my new reel. So we're gonna head back to the marina and uh, see what else we can get into today. We just got back to the dock and the best part of the day begins and that's basically going through organizing everything cleaning out the boat getting it all cleaned up and done for the day that's a wrap we caught a couple fish a couple little ones caught three big sharks i wasn't really trying to catch the sharks but we caught them anyway and you know that's sometimes what life is all about you know it's like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get if it's called fishing for a reason it's not called catching and that's really what it comes down to another day another dollar out here 
living the dream. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, clean the boat up, get this sea deck looking all good. I'm gonna spray some Simply Green on there, scrub it all down, get the blood out of there, and get all the fish and guts out of the boat into the water again. So that's a wrap. I'll talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Talk to you guys.